Reading probabilities from a tree diagram can be done quite easily. For example, here we're looking at the probability of C given that A has occurred. That means that this has already happened. There's a 100% chance that this occurred. We are here. We know that A occurred. And so what's the probability that C then occurs? Well, the only way that C can occur from this point is with a probability of 0 0.4. Um, let's check our answer there. And of course, that's right. OK. Now let's look at the next one. The probability of D, given that B occurs, so B had to occur, then we're looking at the probability of D, so you'll be able to get that one. The next one asks, what's the probability of A and C? The probability of A intersection C, that A and C both occur. So that's the probability of A and C that will be a 0 0.065 times 0 0.04. Point, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.65 times 0 0.4. Oops, <laughs> wait a minute, you guys, that doesn't go there. Goes there. Check the answer. That's the, the probability that both of those things occur. So I had to go down both lines uh, for that particular event to occur. Okay, does that give us enough? The probability that C occurs. So there's two places that I can get to C, either from here or from here. So I need the probability that A and C occurs plus the probability that B and C occurs. So I'll need the 0 0.65 times 0 0.4 and I'll also need plus the 0 0.35 times 0.55. That's what's going to have to go here. I've got to, to go here and here because it's all the different ways that I can get C. Okay, hope that helps.